Hi, I am Michaela, and I'm here to show you some watercolor techniques. Today, you will learn how to create seven different projects using different watercolor techniques. For each card that we make, I will list out the product you need to create each card. Feel free to pause the video, gather your materials, and create along. Or make a shopping list for later. Let's get crafting. For all the projects, you are going to want to have grid paper to protect your workspace. For my crafting today, I'm using the new 2022 to 2024 in color grid paper. The grid paper features five 11 by 17 inch sheets of each 2022 to 2024 in color. I love this fun grid paper. Okay, let's get to it. The first technique is no line watercoloring. For this technique, you will need Fluid 100 watercolor paper and the water painters. Everything else I am using to demonstrate this technique can be replaced with what you already have in your stash, or you can use what I have used here. I'm using Polish Pink, Mint Macaroon, Old Olive, Pell Papaya, So Saffron, and Sahara Sand Classic Stampin' Pads. The bundle I'm using is the Cottage Rose Bundle. Again, you can use what you already have. No Line Watercolor is super fun and easy. To begin, we have already stamped our image in Sierra Sand. You can really use any pale neutral color. Then, we are going to watercolor each piece by taking our ink pads, getting some ink in the lid, and then using our water painters with a little bit of water in them. Dab the water painter into the ink and then onto your grid paper. And then start to color, just like so. The more ink you have on your water painter, the darker it will paint. The second technique is detailed water coloring using watercolored pencils. For this project, you will want water painters and shimmery white cardstock. For the inks I'm using Tahitian Tide, Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, and stays on. I also have my watercolored pencils and I'm going to use Balmy Blue, Night of Navy, and Early Espresso. So I have created this wash that I will show you next how to do, and then stamped using the Adventurous Journey stamp set in stays on. After that, I am coloring in the boat to add some texture and some waves in the water. I'm now going to take in my water painter and just blend it all together to really make those waves. There you have the detailed pencil watercoloring technique. Ready for our third technique? Let's do a water color wash. You are going to want to gather your water painters again, and I am using shimmery white cardstock. For our ink colors, I'm using petal pink, polish pink, and fresh freesia. I also have some paper towels in case I want to get water off my brush and a bowl of water to help with this technique. To begin, I am going to get some of that ink in the top of my ink pad. So I'm just going to give it a little press here and we are going to make a beautiful pattern. First, we're going to wet our cardstock by painting with the water on this piece of paper. Then we will get some of the petal pink and put three lines of color and add a little water if needed. Clean our brush and now do the same thing with polished pink and repeat for fresh freesia. Once we have the three colors, we can do more if we want it darker or we can add water to make those inks run. Then it will dry and you can make the rest of your project. Time for the fourth technique, which is faux water coloring. If you're wanting something that will not make a huge mess, this one's for you. Here I have my water painters again and Fluid 100 watercolor paper. I'm using the Flowers of Friendship stamp set for the specific project, but again, this technique can be used with various stamps and inks. For the ink, I'm using Calypso Coral, Petal Pink, Coastal Cabana, Starry Sky, Daffodil Delight, and so saffron. I am going to stamp my flower in a color 
and then take a watercolor painter and fill that in from the wet ink on my paper. As the ink bleeds, it creates the look of a watercolor painting. Super simple! Then you can punch the flower out and add to your project and repeat until you have the desired number of flowers. Let's try something different. Let's do emboss resist with watercoloring. I have the watercolor painters and the Fluid 100 watercolor paper. You can see I also have a block that I'm using to put my ink refill dots on. The inks I'm using today are all refill bottles. The colors are Sweet Sorbet, Pumpkin Pie, Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tide, Highland Heather, and Orchid Oasis. I also have a paper towel, just in case. I've already done my first step, which was using the Pretty Medallion stamp set and my Versamark with white embossing powder. Now I'm going to add some color. So I'm going to dip my water painter in one of my ink colors, getting a lot of color on there with water and adding it to my paper. You can see that embossing powder resists the ink to really show that design. Then I'll clean off my brush and go to the next color and continue while creating a rainbow. You can see that I don't have a yellow, but I'll blend a little bit of pumpkin pie and parakeet party to get that yellow. And that is the Emboss Resist watercoloring. Look how beautiful that turned out. Love this. Okay, the sixth card we're going to make today uses our pastel watercoloring technique. You will need the shimmery white cardstock, soft pastels, and water painters. I already have an image stamped using the Stays on Black ink and the Bouquet of Thanks stamp set. I'm going to start by coloring on the shimmery white cardstock with the soft pastels, just adding a line for each one. Then I'll take the water painter and add some water to the pastel line and color my flowers with the pastels. And you can continue to color your image with those pastels. Once you're done, you can add this to your card front and finish with embellishments. Lastly, we are going to use the embossing folder watercoloring technique. For this project, I have taken the Fluid 100 watercolor paper and ran it through the stamp and cut and emboss machine with the Pretty Flowers embossing folder. And for this specific example, I'm using Old Olive and Flirty Flamingo Stampin' Pads with my water painters. I'm going to get some ink on my water painter and loosely color the raised images from the embossing folder, just like so. And I'm going to color this whole page and then I can add it to my card front. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed seeing seven different watercolor techniques here with me today. All these techniques can be used for any type of project with any of our amazing stamps, tools, and inks. To order products to start watercoloring, talk to your demonstrator or visit stampinup.com. And as always, happy crafting.